Welcome to the Camping and Caravaning Club series of how-to videos. In this video we're going to look at festival camping. Now whether it's music, arts, family focused, food, beer or another themed interest, most modern festivals welcome campers and for many it's an essential part of the experience. Camping and Caravaning magazine Sheena Ramchun and Candy Evans are here to talk you through the key considerations when planning for a festival camping experience. Festival camping isn't just about tent camping. Many modern festivals have dedicated fields for those who arrive with caravans or motorhomes. It's unlikely there'll be an electric hookup, but you can expect fresh water taps, chemical disposal points and anything else that you'd find on a basic campsite. But you will need to think about how you manage your electricity use. But tent camping at a festival has some challenges that are different from a traditional greenfield campsite. When you find a suitable flat spot, pitch tactically. The fire safety six metre rule between pitches isn't normally followed at festivals, so if you're going with friends, pitch close enough to deter someone else from pitching between you. If there's a small group of you, form a circle with tent doors facing inwards. Don't pitch too close to main paths through the festival campsite. They'll be noisy at all hours and people might stumble into your tent. And don't pitch too near the toilets for the same reasons, and of course, the smell. Be especially careful when you're cooking with so many flammable tents in one place. Avoid campfires and be careful when you're using stoves and barbecues. You should never cook in your tent or bring a barbecue under canvas, not just because of the risk of fire, but because of the invisible dangers of carbon monoxide, which can be deadly. And finally, after you've had a great time, be sure to take your tent and kit home ready for your next adventure. Don't assume someone else will clear up for you, because there's every chance everything will go to landfill. For starters, you're unlikely to be able to drive onto your pitch. Parking may be a long walk from where you'll be able to pitch your tent, so a portable camping gear is crucial. You'll need to carry everything in at the start and carry it out at the end. Check the rules on what you can and can't bring to the festival. This may include alcohol, glass, gas bottles and more. You'll need many items from your regular camping kit, but travel light for convenience and security reasons. Start with a large backpack or similar and switch to a day bag for when you're there. Opt for the lightest tent that will accommodate you all, and if you're new to tent camping, practice putting it up and packing it away again. Double check you've got all the parts you need, including the pegs. Take a lightweight sleeping mat or airbed to keep you off the ground, and take a sleeping bag that packs down small but is still warm enough to keep you cosy during the time of year the festival is running. You'll need something to cook on and in. Bring some food with you, unless you want to pay the high prices for food that kiosks and vendors charge at festivals. Take plenty of cash too, many kiosks won't take card and queues for any cash machines are usually quite long. Basic stoves can include pans and a kettle in a single pack, all will need fuel to run them and don't forget the matches. Have something to eat and drink from, unbreakable plates, bowls and mugs make things simple and there are plenty of clever cutlery sets on the market or you can simply bring something from home. Take a lantern and head torch for when it's dark and if you're going with friends and family, consider taking two-way radios, often called walkie-talkies. Phones can struggle for signal or run out of juice. We'll probably also want to take a charged battery pack or solar charger for the phone. A basic first aid kit is essential in the event of minor injuries and also a basic tent repair kit. Take earplugs if it's the kind of festival that goes on into the small hours and take gear for all weather conditions including waterproof footwear, perhaps wellies and waterproofs. Take sturdy footwear for mixed terrain, plenty of layers and quick drying clothing. A hat, sun cream, wet wipes and antibacterial hand gel. Finally, consider a padlock for your tent to keep things a little safer so it's best to leave any real valuables at home. If you found this video useful, be sure to check out others in our how-to series on our YouTube channel. Happy festival camping, caravanning and motorhoming.